Hello everybody and we are back this time in the start of year four. And I thought I'd show this in recruiting or at least our team uh, what the pipeline states are when it comes to recruiting. We're in danger of losing Maryland as a pipeline and then you can see the other states our uh, players are currently from and it's quite interesting like quite a mix but I'm mostly from Virginia the the home state of Old Dominion here we've got Michigan and Neutral territory at Soldier Field in Chicago. Look at the history. 926 wins all time up to this point in the dynasty. And Old Dominion, of course, has not been around anywhere close to as long as Michigan in football. And that spells quite a difference in the number of wins and just the impact. The tradition of Michigan. So much history. And you look at Old Dominion, a new up-and-comer. So a contrast in the two schools the fan base is quite different. You look at Michigan, got a loyal, long following. Old Dominion just, just starting to make their name. We won the Conference USA Championship last year. Now it's going up against the big boy, against Michigan. Opened up against a Big Ten opponent last year and won at Nebraska, actually rather handily. But I think we've got a different feel on our hands here today. In Chicago. Michigan fans didn't have to travel quite as far as Old Dominion fans for this one, but there is a good mix of fans from both both uh, universities here. So here we go, opening kickoff of the 2016 college football season. Old Dominion decked out in all silver, and of course Michigan in their classic blue and maize uniforms. Their first play of the season. David Dixon gets the handoff in a couple yards. And Michigan, they are fast. They are strong. And I mean, they're a Big Ten school here. And the second play, an option. It's fumbled by Silva. He somehow lost the ball in that mix there. And great field position for Michigan. A terrible start for Old Dominion. Because that gives Michigan's offense a short field to work with. Backs against the wall for the defense, and now Derek Green gets the handoff. They've got Shane Morris, senior at quarterback. Derek Green, a very talented running back. And Jake Butt, the tight end. Yeah, Jake Butt, 16 yards. These guys have been around. They are very hard to stop. And Michigan within just over a minute of the game starting there on the board. No surprises there as they are heavy favorites in this one to win. But Old Dominion not going to give in to those... Uh, those odds against them here. Brandon Ellison found for about five. And a lot of sophomores here on this Old Dominion team. Silva, Dixon, Ellison. He gets blown up on the option there. It's not going to be an easy day going up against a tough and experienced defense. But Brandon Ellison. Silva plopped that one over the top of the defender there. Found Ellison for the first down. So the drive stays alive. Shotgun for Silva. Or play action. But coverage is great and... He is sacked for a big loss on the play. Blocking did not hold on that outside there. Third and 16 for Silva. Nearly hit as he throws. And Brady Massey, the 6'4 receiver, almost found there. But good coverage by DeMonte Thomas. To stop the drive. Morris finds Bud again. And they are a 1-2 combo there with Derek Green coming out of the backfield. Overall, very tough offense Michigan has. They could be uh, title contenders this year, but they're going to have to work through a gauntlet that is the Big Ten, including Ohio State, who looks very strong again. Third and one. Morris back to pass. Nearly sacked. He escapes the pressure. Diving defenders all over the place. He evades about four defenders. And instead of getting sacked like it almost looked like was going to happen, he scores a touchdown. And now we jump ahead to Michigan's next drive. Roshan Doherty. He's flying through that gap. Nobody touched him. He stops screen for a loss of three here late in the first quarter. 14-0 lead for Michigan. Morris back the pass has time. And Justin Weddle nearly picks that off. He could have almost taken that one for six. He had the speed going forward. Third and 13 now. Looking to pass. He finds Skip Jock. I believe that's how you say it. Jock or Jaquez. But it's not enough to get the first down in Old Dominion to start the second quarter. He's in a hole, third and 17. Brady Massey gets destroyed, and even if he had held on to that, he would not have got the first down. 
Michigan's next drive is second and three. Hand off to Green. Green evading defenders. Hops over TJ Armstrong. And he's got all kind of green to run. Jack Tacho, the only man who can catch him. And he pushes him out of bounds. But a huge gain for Michigan. Despite not scoring the touchdown there. Morris looking to throw on first down. And this one going to be intercepted by Jack Tacho. Does he have the sideline? And if he didn't have to change speed there, Jake Butt makes a... Possible pick six saving touchdown because Tacho had all kinds of green. But he had to uh, make a change of direction there and it cost him a bit of speed. Dixon on the handoff to the outside on second down. Beating defenders now on the interception. Giving momentum to the offense. 24 on that play. Round midfield. Silva looks to pass and he's got Phillip Dickens. And moving from the ball right down on this Michigan defense. If Old Dominion could get a touchdown back here, that would be huge. Third and four, Silva going to take off, runs out of bounds. A little more intelligent of a runner in his sophomore season, not going to take as many hits this year. Avoid fumbling, avoid uh, potential injury possibilities. Third and seven now for Silva, looking to throw, has time. He finds Martin on the run, but Martin is just pushed out of the bounds, a yard short of the first down. And Old Dominion says, we're going to go for it. we got to take our chances here. We have nothing to lose in this game. Literally outmatched by Michigan. And Melvin Vaughn gets the first down. First and goal for Silva. Looking to pass. Rolls out to his left. And, well, a little miscommunication. The receiver went to the right. He was thrown to the corner of the end zone there. And a bad read on the option. Should not have given it to Taylor. And it results in a two-yard loss. Third and goal with three minutes to go in the first half. Trying to find Brady Massey coming across, and it's almost picked off. So Old Dominion, for the first time, Nick Reed, freshman kicker, comes on, and he hits his first career field goal. He probably won't be a long kicker. Tommy, um, or Tommy Patrick will come in for longer kicks, but Reed hits his first ever field goal, and it's 14-3. Old Dominion on the board, and a big stop by TJ Armstrong there getting in the backfield. Second and ten now. Morris on the play action. And it's Jake Butt again. He has been rock solid. Guaranteed target, it seems, for Shane Morris. Somebody's got to pick him up in pass coverage. First down, and look, it's Jake Butt again. Falante Mesher pushes him out, but not after he gets 23. Good grief, the tight end is tearing up the old Dominion defense. Morris on second and two. Gets hit and... Find Skim Jock. What a tight window to put that in. And Brady Hoke calls timeout to talk over with his offense there. Second and three. Green in motion to the right, but in the backfield. Second and three. And Morris gets taken down by Kanye Anderson with a little help from John Jordan. But Kanye Anderson was the main part of this sack here. He gets off the edge as Morris takes off. And Shane Morris had no chance. Third and six. A minute to go in the first half. Out of the shotgun, Morris finds Jones. It's to Mario Jones. First little bit of action for him. First and goal. Shotgun formation again. They're sure running a lot of shotguns here, and it's Butt. Yeah, Jake Butt again. And Michigan has opened it up. Just before halftime, and as we head into halftime, it's 21-3. to All about Michigan, mostly in this half, outside of the Jack Tacho interception that led to an ODU field goal. It's been all about the Wolverines here in Chicago. So something's got to change going into the second half. Old Dominion needs to uh, start, for one, maybe a double covering or triple covering something on Jake Butt because he has just burned the ODU defense. Old Dominion had one of the better defensive performances in the country last year outside of a couple games against Tennessee and Middle Tennessee. Interesting, uh, really the two teams that gave... Old Dominion defensive problems last year were from Tennessee. But overall, a good year last year. So they lost a good number of seniors. A lot of younger players on this defense this year are players who have not had as much experience that have sat back in the depth chart for a while. So third and six, Shane Morris finds pace wide open across the middle. Gets a huge chunk of yards. Moving right down the field again. It's Michigan to start the second half. And... Not looking good. Old Dominion needs another turnover or something. Derek Green will get about eight on this play. Goodness. They're just going right down the field again. Second and two. Morris on the option. Keeper, but TJ Armstrong meets him there. TJ, the senior linebacker. You haven't heard much about him. He's been 
hiding behind uh, a lot of other guys like Caleb Taylor past several years, so he doesn't get much playing time, but now he is the starting middle linebacker. So look out for him to make him plays this year. Third and three now. A big chance for Old Dominion to stop this offensive attack, and Green is stopped. Big loss, Kavon Walker, another guy who's been sitting back for a while, and it's a field goal for Michigan. So it remains a three-score game for Old Dominion. That's actually a good thing. They didn't want to give up a touchdown. And Brady Massey on third down uses his size to go grab that one out of the air. That's a first down for Old Dominion. Silva staying in the pocket. Brady Massey again, and he has taken some shots today. Some hard-hitting defenders for Michigan. I'm not surprised. They play in that Big Ten tough football conference there. Josh Silva on the option keeper, seven yards, third and three, midway through the third quarter, and he's going to find Connor Martin for a quick gain, a nice spin move to get 10. Connor Martin, the senior, a four-year starter. What a great career he's had. And Philip Dickens, 23 yards, and Old Dominion finally hits pay dirt. And all of a sudden, it's a, it's a little bit interesting now. Old Dominion scores a touchdown, and it's a 14-point game here in the third quarter, so things are a little more interesting. But a lot of work to do. Old Dominion has to stop the Michigan offense to make any progress in this game. And look at the defense swarming. Roshan Doherty is the first one to get there. About three other defenders were there as well. Second and 11. Shotgun for Morris. Looking to pass. And TJ Armstrong comes flying through. You see that speed by TJ. He comes through untouched. for Basically untouched. He did get a piece of the lineman there. But look at the speed by Armstrong to get Morris, third and 19. This is exactly what Old Dominion needed. A stop here, a screen now to Green. He's got lots of room to run. The block picks up Tacho and barely gets the first down. How do you give up 19 on a screen play on third down? Unbelievable, so Michigan does have a first down. Morris looking to throw deep. This ball's going long. Tacho on the coverage and it's skimmed Jock for 53 yards. Michigan now, once again, deep in Old Dominion territory. Morris gets stuffed. Rob Thompson, first to meet him on the option keeper, second and 14. Defense seems to have the run game figured out, but it's the passing that's having problems, but Morris gets sacked, and they're going backwards again. Roshan Doherty, his third tackle for a loss, his first sack of the game, third and 25 for Morris. Looking to pass now. Going long for the end zone, and it's overthrown virtually into the crowd. So it'll be a field goal on fourth and 25. It's up, and it's going to go left. And it remains a two-score game for Old Dominion. Huge. When you consider the sack, that may have totally impacted that field goal, the fact that they went backwards. So at the start of the fourth quarter, down by 14, it's Kevin Privet for 11 yards, and Old Dominion... Try and make this a one-score game if they score a touchdown. Connor Martin gets in. Five yards and a first down, and they're moving right down the field on Michigan, little by little. Silva looking now, going deep. He wants it all. A little too far on that one, but if he wasn't going to hit his receiver, he was going to miss everybody. Now a little option. Gives it to Dixon now. Up the middle, about 11 yards there, and he's got a good burst of speed. So hard to stop. Michigan's done a good job at containing David Dixon today. Dixon again on the handoff, and he's going to get about 15 there. First and goal for Old Dominion. Silva out of the pistol with Harvey Taylor behind him. Hands it off. Draw play there and gets a good chunk of yards. And it's third and goal. A manageable situation here from about five yards out here. Silva looking to throw. He's got Zach Pastel, and he holds on for the touchdown. And it is all of a sudden a one-score game. Pascal, you don't see too much of this guy, but he will come in, and he did well to hold on to that ball because he took a hit immediately and almost had it stripped out, but great job holding on to the ball. And it's 24-17. Old Dominion has come back and made it so that they're only a touchdown away from tying Michigan. A defensive stop here would be huge, massive for the defense. Here they come trying to attack Derek Green, and he's got some shifty moves. Stop short, though. It's third and inches. Should be interesting as Green crosses, the, just gets to 100 yards on the day. Play action. Nearly sacked, but he shakes it off, and it's Shulman. And Kanye Anderson, the defensive end, drops back to make the tackle. You don't see too many 
downfield tackles from defensive ends like that. Here went Chris Cleveland all over that play. Green had nowhere to go. The linebacker stops him. Second and 11. Time starting to take away here in the fourth quarter. Smith gets the screen. He's pushed out just a couple yards short. Man, another opportunity. Third down. Old Dominion has to stop him here, but Green has so much room to run. It's unbelievable. Offensive line doing wonders for Green's run game. They really stopped the defense from getting in the backfield. And now under three minutes to go. Morris finds Skip Shock for a first down inside the 10. Under two and a half minutes to go now. Option keeper for Morris. And Marcus Massey saves what probably would have been a touchdown. Second and goal now. Timeout by Old Dominion here. Morris on the option keeper again. And it's Marcus Massey again. It's deja vu. This time Morris gets about a yard. Third and goal. Hand off to Green to the left side. And Falante Misher, a number of other defenders, stop Green. Does manage to get four. Almost got in the end zone. And Old Dominion has to use their last timeout. Not to let any more time take off this clock here. And the field goal is good. A tough angle. But it's a 10-point lead and two minutes to go now. Old Dominion has to strike fast. They have no more timeouts left. Going to find Kevin Priven on the right side there. And there's a flag down. See what this is here. It's going to be a face mask. Panel. That's huge for Old Dominion. That's going to give them some extra yards into Michigan territory. Still first down. Much appreciated help from the face mask penalty. Now allows Josh Silva some room to work with. Going deep now. Look at this play. Won it all in one play. <laughs> Tried to find Philip Dickens there. Couldn't quite hit him on the target. This time it's Brady Massey. What a pass from Josh Silva. He can be inconsistent and inaccurate. But there are times when he looks absolutely impressive throwing the ball. And this play to Brady Massey, a touchdown. What a great day for number 81. The senior brought out of junior college. Six foot four. That was one of the reasons he was recruited. He's got size to him. This receiving core needs size and he adds that to him. But it's his last year as a monarch for only... Two seasons. Now the onside kick unfortunately goes to Michigan. And he almost broke that through. Michigan just needs one first down. That's all they need to seal the deal. Second and two. The defense needs to stop here. And Derek Green barely gets the first down. And that's going to be it, folks. Old Dominion mounted quite a comeback to make this game interesting. It looks like it was going to be a real blowout. But a heck of a comeback. Shane Morris, though, what a day. Only five incompletions. Included that one interception. And not enough for Old Dominion. They were certainly outmatched by Michigan, but almost made a huge piece of history. Look at Silva, though. Good day passing. 199 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Tough day running the ball, though. Old Dominion couldn't get too much going running the ball. Dixon had some good carries, but... It's just hard to get it consistent. Brady Massey, four receptions, 79 yards, and a touchdown. Great day for him. But again, just falling short. Michigan wins 27-24. But it has to be encouraging. This is an encouraging result because after being down and getting beat up big time in the first half, Old Dominion really managed to turn things around in the second half. This is encouraging because this was a very, very good team in Michigan that we played on neutral territory. And all things considered, this, this is a good start to the season, despite losing. It's a pretty good start. We have some tough games ahead. Next game is against Virginia, who beat us 10-3 to last year. This time, it's going to be in their backyard. Last year, we played at home. This year, it's going to be at Virginia. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes, but... 142 yards from Derek Green, 110 receiving yards from Skip Jacques. Of course, half of that came on one play. Is that Skip Jacques or is it Jaquez? I don't know how you really pronounce his name, but we're not going to be playing Michigan for the foreseeable future. Let's end up meeting him in a bowl game for some reason, but there you go. Taco Charlton got a sack. Yeah, that's right, a dude named Taco. I'll give him that. We'll give him that. But that's the result, guys. 433 
yards of offense for Michigan, just 297 for Old Dominion. Under 100 yards for the team rushing. That doesn't happen a lot. Seven red zone visits for Michigan. That's that's way too much. Way too much. Holy cow. All right, we'll get into recruiting a little bit more as we go forward. Here's the players of the week and also the conference USA players of the week. Thank you guys so much for your support and for watching. I'm trying to get on that schedule, I promised you guys. But uh, next game we've got is in week two against Virginia. We'll see if we can get revenge for that 10-3 loss last year on our own turf. See you guys then.